The Ender 3 Pro is a very noisy printer, and if you have this set up anywhere near your bedroom, you are not getting any sleep. So today, we're gonna to look at how we can make this quieter by replacing the stock hot end fan. Because really, about half the noise of this printer comes from this fan. For this upgrade, you want to get your hands on a Noctua 40 by 20 millimeter 12 volt fan. And because the fan is 12 volts, yet the Ender 3 Pro is 24 volts, you want to get yourself also one of these. This is a converter that would take the 24 volts and convert it into 12 volts. I bought both of these from Amazon. I'll give you links in the description below. Here are the 3D printed parts you require. So you wanna go ahead and put those screws in beforehand just to get the thread started. So this is the shroud. So the fan should go in here, something like this. And then we have a fan cover. And then there's a new blower here. So in the end should look something like this. these screws here, rather than using the original screws, which would be the small ones, I'm using the longer screw, which is a screw that came off the original fan. Now we've 
open up the motherboard compartment and this last connector here, this one, is for the fan, these two small wires. So we'll undo that and we'll place our converter in between. All right, so we've got our converter wired in. We now have to adjust the actual voltage output to 12 volts using this dial. All right, so we have it all wired up now. We can see on the outside, we have it connected straight to the wires coming out in the motherboard area. We've attached two cables here for wiring to the motherboard. And we've also double checked our screw here to make sure that we're outputting 12 volts. Mine, when it came from Amazon, it was outputting about 20 volts. I had to open this up maybe four or five turns to get it down to 12. So now we're gonna put a little piece of shrink tube on there and put it right here in the motherboard area. So we can see it's all nicely wire managed and there is the converter. We've got the cables coming in, going to the output there and then the power cables come down here and go into the corresponding output. I've been using this for a couple of days now and there's a couple of things that I don't like about the setup. So I think I'll be changing to a different uh, fan shroud. So what do I like about this? I like the fact that it has this cable relief here. Uh, the fact that it retains the stock blower. Now what don't I like? As you can see, the actual fan shroud here is quite quite long. Also, you have to print this blower piece here, and it's a very difficult piece to print. You don't get a very nice finish at the bottom. And also, you can see that it's starting to already split, even though I did not tighten the screws too tight. So it's been working well, very quiet, but maybe not the best design here. So as we can see, there's some warpage in the fan shroud. I printed this in PLA, and it looks like this design places the fan shroud too close to the hot end, which doesn't work very well with PLA. All right, so instead we're going with this design. So here we have the fan mount, and you can see a lot of thought and time has gone into this. So he's got some flow simulation, and we can see that the airflow is directed perfectly underneath the nozzle. And also, he's got files here for different kinds of leveling sensors. So for a BL touch or for an induction type here. So ultimately, you'll be downloading three files, the fan duct, the back plate, and one of these three. So for mine, because it's a stock with manual level sensing, I'll get the vanilla. And he also gives very specific instructions on how to uh, print this. So the main piece here is the duct needs to be printed with one wall and no extra skin. And he says uh, he printed it in PLA and it took him two and a half hours. Within Cura, we're going to bring in our three files. So we have our fan duct, our back plate, and the vanilla mount. I'll just drop them here. Okay, I'm just going to right click and say arrange. And I will print this exactly the way that it is right now. It prints fine this way. So the only thing we have to do is for the duct, we need to make some changes. So we're gonna go under here per model settings and we want to change the wall line count and the extra skin wall count. So he said one and zero. So if we select a different model, we see that it's fine. This one here, one and zero. And here are the settings that I use for printing the Sunlu PLA. I'll link to Amazon where I got that from. But we can see nothing too crazy. Um, I've bumped up the width. Um, I've also bumped up a little bit of the flow here for the initial layer, 200 and 210. All right, let's slice. So mine says three hours and 26 minutes. He said two and a half hours, but all dependent on speed, infill, all these different things. 
Let's see how this looks. Preview. Look at that. All right, let's print it. And you can see they printed quite nicely. All right, so here's the final product. Um, as you can see, it's got a very minimalist design and it leverages the stock blower here. And this design actually doesn't use any screws for connecting the duct to the, the base. It's got these two little knobs and what I found was it was a little bit loose. So over here where these two pieces connect, underneath the duct, I placed a little bit of uh, shoe goo, which is a flexible kind of glue. And now as you can see, it's very solid. So this shroud here uses the two original mounting holes. Plus for extra support, there is this base over here. So some people don't use this, but I found without it, it was a little bit too wiggly. So you just place a screw in there and a nut. So you have to find these separately. And now as you can see, it's very, very solid. And the blower is just a press fit into the base here. So another benefit here is that you can very easily see the nozzle, which helps with uh, bed leveling and also monitoring of that crucial first layer. And I printed this in PLA and after even 20 hours of printing, we can see there's no warpage. Everything is working very, very well. So I'm quite happy with this. Eventually, we're going to give this design a shot as well. This one here uses two 40 millimeter fans, one for cooling of the hot end, one for cooling of the parts. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that, as well as the next part in the series.